الرحمن الرحیم دس از ڈاکٹر صادق علی اگین فرام ڈاکٹر صادق علی لیکچر پلیٹ فارم سو ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اے ویری ویری بیسک ٹاپک اینڈ ویری ویری امپورٹنٹ دیٹ از ای سی جی دیٹ از الیکٹرو کارڈیوگرام سو آئی ریسیو لاٹ آف میسیجز فرام دا اسٹوڈنٹ سائڈس اینڈ فرینڈ سائڈس اینڈ دے ٹول می دیٹ سر یو کین جسٹ گیو دس اے ویری بریف لیکچر اباؤٹ دا بیسکس آف ای سی جی that how ECG we can read and what are the basics behind ECG. So actually this topic is very very important in the medical field practice on daily basis regarding the uh, theory as well as the practical practice. So every day in the hospital we come across with lot of patient and we have all the time that is we refer the ECG but we should know how to read that ECG and how we can interpret that ECG. So before that, we must need some basics of ECG. And I should say that any patient came to the uh, uh, hospital within chest pain, no matter what is the problem, no matter what is the cause of chest pain, either cardiac problem, lungs problem, muscle problem, but any chest pain patient within six hours, the first investigation of choice and the first best initial investigation, we are doing ECG. So now just let's start that ECG, what is the basics behind that ECG? Now the name itself suggests electrocardiogram. Electro mean electrical activity, cardio mean heart and gram mean like paper. If electrical activity of the heart we presented on the paper that is called ECG. So before that going to the basics proper, this is the heart for example it is a four chambered heart this is called the right atrium and this is the left atrium just for the sake of understanding remember this is the right ventricle and this is the left ventricle now the first of all the first thing you people must know in the upper part of the right atrium there is a natural pacemaker that is called a SA node SA node mean sino atrial node and this contain a special type of cell or tissue which produce their own impulse without any stimulus so this is called the natural pacemaker so the natural pacemaker present in the upper part of the right atrium and that is called the SA node the SA node fire and it produce impulse and that impulse going down and they goes toward another reserve pacemaker and that is called the AV node. So we can say from the SA node, impulse goes toward the AV node and from the AV node, the impulse, now these are the pathways through which SA node impulse reach to the AV node. So those pathways which is between SA node, AV node, they are called internodal pathways. Because these pathways are present between the nodes, so they are called internodal pathways. Now here, after the AV node, the impulse goes below toward another structure that is called bundles of his. That is called bundles of his. Very, very important one. That is called bundles of his. Now, this bundles of his divide into two branches. This is called the right bundle branch because goes toward the right ventricle. So, that is called right bundle branch. And now, on the another side, this is called the left bundle branch. So bundle of his divide into two branches, right bundle branch and a left bundle branch. And after that, eventually the impulse reaches into the Purkinje's fiber. That is very, very important. That is called the Purkinje's fiber. So that will reach into the Purkinje's fiber. So now you people must know something very special that initially impulse start from SA node and the impulse through internodal pathway via the both atria reach to the AV node. Now in the AV node impulse stay for some time that is called AV nodal delay. Very well but physiologically that delay should be 0.1 second and after the AV node impulse goes toward the ventricle reach to the bundles of his. From the bundles of his it goes to the right bundle left bundle branch and eventually reach to the Purkinje's fiber. Now, this whole concept that SA node fire the impulse and they eventually reach the Purkinje's fiber. This is called 
conducting system of the heart that is called the conducting system of the heart now another very important point i want to say now ecg we will discuss ecg basics specially on the basis of this concept if we know conducting system we will know the ecg very well now come and just focus what i am going to write number 1 actually uh, now we are going to discuss and we are going to now interpret ecg interpretation of ecg now this is the main area for being a medical student you people must know that how we can interpret ecg so remember number first when impulse is in the sa node when impulse is in the sa node and goes toward the av node so that impulse they passes through left atria and right atria so when impulse from the sa node move toward av node and when it passes from both atria it will stimulate the atrial cell and can cause atrial systole ya atrial depolarization and there will be a change in the ecg and that will be known as p wave now the first thing you people must know that ecg p wave that will represent atrial depolarization that is called atrial depolarization very very important that is called atrial depolarization depolarization mean excitation or it mean systole that is called atrial depolarization after that when this p wave this p wave start and it shows atrial depolarization after that impulse reach into the av node but i told you that for some time this av node delay the impulse there is delay and this delay of the impulse in av node is equal to 0.1 second so when impulse present in the av node it doesn't it doesn't in the atria doesn't in the ventricle then the next should be a flat line this flat line is ecg is isoelectric line in ecg shows that impulse present in the av node now from here from the p up to q again this q is very small so we always take p along with the r now the next one that is called pr segment that is called pr segment it's mean that isoelectric line or flat line which start from the p up to practically logically up to q but we taken as r because q wave in ecg is very small so we always take p wave along with the r wave let's mean a pr segment is there it shows that av nodal delay that is called av nodal delay in a healthy person this delay is about 0.1 second and it delay occur because when impulse goes from sa node toward the av node so now this impulse passes through both atria the atria contract so if the impulse do not take time in the av node if the impulse was going down below then atria will contract ventricle will contract so all chambers will not contract at the same time and that will be a problem therefore to allow the atria to contract properly before ventricle there is av nodal delay after that impulse goes toward the bundles of his after the 0.1 second time after delay it goes toward the bundle of his right bundle left bundle branch it's mean both ventricle and if the both ventricle undergo depolarization so it will give rise to the qrs complex now this qrs complex mean that shows ventricle depolarization and as we know the most muscular part of the heart that is ventricle that is ventricle that is called ventricular depolarization so as we know ventricle are the pumping chamber of the heart because to the whole body the blood is pumped by ventricle especially left ventricle so that is more what that is more powerful more muscular therefore their depolarization will be very very high now the most important there is three waves in ventricle depolarization one is q wave r wave and s wave combination of waves if we combine one or more than one wave if we combine more than one wave in ecg like here we combine three waves q wave r wave and s wave 
कम्बिनेशन ऑफ वेब इन ई सी जी इज नोन एज कम्प्लेक्स तो प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट क्यू आर एस कम्प्लेक्स इन ई सी जी इट विल शो दैट इज वेंट्रिकुलर डी पोलराइजेशन आफ्टर द डेट द नेक्स्ट वन द फोर्थ वन दैट इज आफ्टर एस अप टू टी दैट इज वेरी वेरी फ्लैट लाइन एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड एस टी सेगमेंट सो द नेक्स्ट वन दैट इज कॉल्ड एस टी सेगमेंट नाउ वी विल डिस्कस के वट इज मेंट बाई एस टी सेगमेंट एक्चुअली a point i am going to say that is very very important for any type of medical exam especially specialty exam in pakistan fcps like jcat a lot of exam mrcp uk a lot of usmle prep sub all exam are very very fond of that they ask this type of question so please focus here that ventricular depolarization occurring in qrs complex when the s is complete it's mean the ventricles are completely depolarized now there are two thing qrs complex it's mean ventricular depolarization is going once s complete it's mean that ventricle completely depolarized so this st segment shows ventricle are depolarized ventricle are depolarized it's mean that qr is shows ventricular depolarization but st segment shows that ventricles are already depolarized now the question come in multiple exam that which of the following area of ecg shows that the ventricle are already that the ventricle are already depolarized the answer will be st segment and the last but not the least that is called t wave in the last there is t wave and this t wave in ecg shows ventricular repolarization that is called a ventricular repolarization very very important that is called a ventricular ventricular repolarization so now this is a ecg complete set now this is the basics for a beginner for a medical student he or she must know this points behind the ecg if we know this much ecg so later when we study pathology that will be very very easier for us but one thing should be remember that uh, ventricle depolarization is qr is complex ventricle uh, repolarization is t wave so ventricle depolarization uh, repolarization both are present in ecg but there is atrial depolarization but there is no atrial repolarization this is a very very important point that why atrial depolarization is there but there is no atrial repolarization mean that when the ventricle depolarize at the same time atria repolarize so ventricle depolarization is so powerful it hide the atrial repolarization so now at the end you people must know in the note that atrial uh, repolarization uh, repolarization in ecg in ecg hide by hide by ventricular depolarization so this point must know every one of you and that is very very important one that when ventricle are depolarized at the same time atria repolarize so it's mean that the atrial repolarization that is hide by ventricular depolarization so now these are the most important point you people must know for the exam point of view in a healthy patient this av nodal delay is equal to 0.1 second now this is the basics of ecg that we must know that ecg how electrical activity of the heart is present for example if we can then see for example lot of thing we will discuss for example electrolyte changes and this is just what in this class i told you the conducting system of the heart and the interpretation of ecg that a single strip ecg what these wave shows so last but not the least note it p wave in ecg that is atrial depolarization pr segment that is called av nodal delay qr is complex that is called ventricular depolarization st segment 
ventricle is completely depolarized and T wave at ventricle repolarization. After this, in the next lecture, in the next session, we will discuss ECG changes. For example, if there is ST segment elevation, what will happen? Like MI in Jaina. If there is tall T wave, that will be hyperkalemia. If there is inverted T wave, that will be hypokalemia. Potassium increase or decrease greatly impact ECG. And I, uh, P, uh, that QT interval prolongation, that is hypokalemia. QT shortening hyperkalemia. So these all changes. If you want, a few people want to understand ECG and their changes. So stay, stay tuned for the next lecture. Just within two to three days, we will upload the next. Today, just my aim that every one of you, those who are in the medical field, those who are studying the MBBS or MD, they must know the basics of ECG. If someone asks you what is the meaning of these, you must know the reason behind it. And in the next lecture, we will discuss the ECG changes regarding electrolyte imbalances, angina, myocardial infarction, pericarditis. We all we will discuss that. And I just told you one thing. Many students ask me, sir, you guys are also giving proper lectures or not? Yes, Alhamdulillah, by this time, this is the only platform in Pakistan we providing the whole MBBS and whole MD courses, including basic sciences, clinical sciences, as well as USMLE first step one 2023 edition in Urdu languages and Pushto languages. So those who are interested in any type of session and they want to join us with us, so they can uh, below comment me and inshallah I will help them and I will guide them personally and we will boost their concept regarding medical field. Thank you so much for giving time. Jazakallah. See you soon with the next lecture. Very interesting. Allah Hafiz.